Hey guys, this is Spartan 117GW and I'm going to be testing out some lighting solutions. We're here at Extreme Combat. As, as you can see, there's a two-story kill house right behind me. Uh, we have the Nav Light by STS Tactical. Really cool light. The first time I saw it, I was like, wow. There are so many different mounting applications for this thing and, th and that's what's great about it. As you can see, I have the light, uh, white light that has the uh, rail, Picatinny rail on here as well. As you can see, it's pretty cool because you can rotate it pretty much 360 degrees just into the position that you need it. So for example, if you were in the prone and you just need to look at your map real quick, if you had the red light version, which is this one right here, um, you can you can basically use it to read your uh, your map essentially without really having to redirect your weapon in a certain way. Uh, it's pretty handy dandy if you're trying to search around the floor for something but you're trying to keep your weapon up. Uh, and also it's cool is if you have a Picatinny rail on just about anything, for example, let me see if I can take this, pop this off real quick. So as you can see, it pops off crash real quick so just to show you an example uh, right here we have a uh, one of these uh, cool little mounts here that you can mount on molly it has Picatinny rail on it and as you can see I'm just gonna slide this sucker on here real quick as you can see it mounts no problem as and it rotates pretty much every single uh, angle you can possibly have so you can mount it on your vest you can mount a different um, you know any kind of system that really has molly on it which is pretty cool now going after this one this one, I really, really like. Now, the Velcro on it, uh, the one that I got, it just had a little bit of Velcro melted off, but if you had uh, one of these that the Velcro wasn't um, you know, damaged at all, because that was probably just a shipping issue or something during the manufacturing process. Um, with full Velcro, it'll stick, no problem. So I, I had a thing where it would stick, but it wouldn't stick super well, so I think it's just just a, basically a lemon with this one. But with the proper Velcro on here, this thing will stick to your helmet, it'll stick to your, uh, you know, your vest or your, uh, your combat shirt. Um, and what's kind of cool is that you can also mount this on things that are metal. So, let's see if I can find something that's metal around here. So, let's see if the bus is up. up. As you can see, mounts onto something. So, what's kind of cool is they have different uh, color and lighting applications, right? So, you have some of these in IR. You know, mark an enemy vehicle and look how small this thing is. It fits in the palm of my hand. Uh, what's great is that, obviously, you can see the little magnet here. If you have the IR version, you can literally press and hold, and by pressing and holding, you kind of go through the different lighting modes. As you can see, it's going through the different lighting features, and you can see it's going to start doing a bunch of different, uh, um, you know, strobing, and th this, that, and the other, uh, basically. So you have a bunch of different features. Uh, if you have the uh, IR version, right, you could literally stick it on a vehicle. I mean, if the enemy's not using night vision, they're not going to know. The vehicle goes off, and now you have your target with the strobe on it, and it's, it's going off, it's gonna get taken out by cast or something like that. Or a C-130, like a Spectre or something like that. Definitely cool, so there's a bunch of different strobing features that come with these lights. We're gonna be experimenting uh, more when the light goes down, uh, when the light goes down. But as you can see, different applications, essentially for the same light. And what's kind of cool is that uh, they actually um, have a different base that comes with it. So you can essentially take one of these, and by unscrewing these four screws, you can put it on something like this. So you can basically modify any of the existing lights that you have and put different lights or uh, different uh, mounting options on them as well. Definitely really cool. The STS Tactical Nav Light. As you can see, well, once I put on the web system, it, uh, well, you're on the web system, but definitely cool. Definitely modular, as you can see on the Picatinny rail here, or on the Picatinny rail here. Uh, the only thing I did notice, let's see if I can just get this on here, just, just right, there we go. The only thing I did notice uh, on Magpul MOE rails, it's a little rough to get on there. I know some Picatinny rails, it's, it seems to be a little tighter, but overall, once you get on there, which really should be a problem, it pretty much stays in place. And the only way it's going to come off is when you pull on it, slide it off. So it's pretty easy to apply and you know, obviously take off and uh, dismount. Definitely really cool, definitely modular, and it gives you just the right amount of light to see what you want to see, to do what you, know, what you want to do without really kind of spot lighting yourself with some huge crazy lumen light source. Definitely cool, a lot of different lighting applications and uh, make sure you guys check it out, the SCS Tactical Nav Light. We'll be going over and doing some little more testing as the light goes down, but thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan 117GW. Hey guys, Spartan 117GW, I'm just kind of help demonstrate. We have uh, the kill house or the schoolhouse here at XK and we're gonna use some of the darker areas to kind of demonstrate the, the white light capability now. I have this Picatinny mounted onto the uh, 416 right here. And we're going to go ahead and test it real quick. So as you can see, you can use it right here. It's kind of an ideal position for like a thumb light. It doesn't have too, too much light, but in a pitch black situation, it's definitely enough to kind of like, you know, blind them or stroke them or something real quick. But as you can see, as I go through here, you know, there's definitely plenty of light to do a nice little search. So it's nice to have something small 
that attaches to your weapon system that in a low light situation is going to give you just the right amount of light that you need. Now one thing, I'm going to rotate the light I'll just about 45 degrees or so. Now say that you are um, kind of like running around the house, kind of searching, and you have your weapon up, right? By having it like this, obviously it's not highlighting where my feet are. It's highlighting about five feet in front of me where the ground is. So my weapon can be up and I can be, you know, scanning, searching, assessing. My weapon's right where it needs to be, but I can just really quick, just peek down, see if there's anything I need to look at. As opposed to if I have a light source on the weapon, I have to completely take my weapon out of whatever sector I'm scanning. And I would have to traditionally, for example, let me try to rotate. I would traditionally have to sweep this whole area. But if someone comes up, then I gotta snap up and I gotta shoot them. But with this down, if I'm really searching, if I really have to find something that's in the ground on the ground somewhere and it's really dark, it kind of helps me pull security on a little bit while, while allowing me to uh, maintain my uh, weapon um, up. Definitely a really cool feature. And that's one of the things where I like about the, uh, the rotating light source, as well if you're reading a map or something and using uh, the red light or something, definitely handy. So make sure you guys check it out, SCS Tactical. Hey guys, light. this is Spartan 117 GW. I know we turned on the spooky mode here. It's almost, it's almost Halloween. I'm using the red light right now, just so you can kind of get an idea of how bright the red light is. Now what's kind of cool, and obviously the red light's used when you want to use, um, when you need light, you don't really want to give your position away. And the spectrum of red is uh, kind of hard to see at night. Uh, it's, it's one of the spectrums that's uh, just hard to see in general, which is why the military uses it. As you see, you can see me, but now you can see the wall. Or if I was reading something, I mean, it's designed for close proximity. So if I was like reading, if I had to look at something on the wall, you know, if I had it on my shoulder or, uh, you know, I had this Velcro somewhere and I need to look at something on the wall real quick, I can take it off and I can, you know, use it, whatever. And then I could throw it right back on here. As you can see, it's on my shoulder right now, but any kind of a surface we have hook and loop, you can generally attach it to. And definitely a handy little feature. As you can see, you can search, you can you know, dismount it, and, you know, look at different things, if there's writing on the wall, if there's something on the ground, if there's a map you gotta read, without really giving your position away, because, like I said, they're all focused on giving you just the right amount of light. Not so much that it's gonna, you know, snow blind this entire room and give away your position that, hey, there's a guy in this building. Uh, but just enough so you can you know, see what you need to see and then get back to work. So make sure you guys check it out, the SCS uh, Tactical Nav Light. Uh, and you guys can pick them up, they're about 40, 50 bucks, so make sure you guys check them out. Hey guys, this is Spartan117GW, and this is kind of like my AAR, plus little extra details that I might have missed about the SCS Tactical Nav Light. As you can see, I kind of have a couple other items here on the uh, desk, table, what have you. Uh, just kind of gives you an idea what the size difference is. As you can see, uh, I kind of taken apart my STS Tactical Nav Light, and it's as you can see, it's really easy to replace the battery. Uh, all you need is a 20, a CR2016, uh, to replace the battery. Uh, simply by removing the four Phillips head uh, screwdrivers, or um, well, screws, with a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, you can make uh, basically swap mounts and this, that, and the other. Uh, one thing I noticed is that uh, you have a standard mount, right? This is the standard mount. And there's also a plus size mount. I didn't realize it at first, but this is actually a plus size mount. So if for some reason your Picatinny rail happens to be out of spec or it's a little fatter or, which is kind of common with a lot of airsoft guns or even um, the Mo rails from Magpul, just are, you know, obviously they're not CNC machines. So um, that's something you want to use if uh, you want to mount it to a Picatinny rail that just isn't quite um, as mil spec as it could be. You want to use the bigger rail, the Picatinny rail adapter, and this is about 11 bucks. Uh, but as you can see, this is kind of the size comparison, this is my little red light, uh, to something like an SNS Precision um, Mantis Trope. So as you can see, you're saving a lot of space um, if you're using this. And um, this is a weapon uh, WML for M-Force, and even though, um, obviously, this light you can pretty much use for all kinds of different purposes. So you can use it like a strobe, you can use it like a weapon light, you can use it for navigating or for you know, just lighting certain things up, right? So that's what's kind of cool about it. It's really like, it's like just over an inch or about an, eh, just over an inch long. So really, if you put on your weapon, it's not gonna take a lot of space. If you put on your helmet, it's not gonna take a lot of space. If you Velcro this or attach this on anywhere, it's not gonna take up a lot of space. I dropped one of the screws there. Uh, but, and that's what's great about it too, and because it's so small, like, like I was saying earlier, if you attach this to a vehicle, if you're trying to be inconspicuous, it'll hide very well. You know, they're not going to find it, um, and that's one of the cool things about it. And as you can see, the build is relatively simple. I mean, 
the inside. You know, even like this, you can still you can still activate the light, like so. Pretty handy dandy. And it's pretty easy, like I said, to swap the mounts, and you have all the different accessories that come uh, well that come with it, or you can buy separately. But all the, it kind of gives you the little light that does a lot, or it has a lot of different ways to use it. I mean, it doesn't have one specific dedicated purpose, which a lot of you know lighting systems or strobe systems do, such as the mana strobe or such as like a, a weapon mount light. This thing is very versatile, and it's you know fairly affordable too. Uh, and you can put on your helmet, you can put it on yourself, you can put on vehicle, you can put on your weapon. All kinds of different things you can use it for. Overall, I thought it was pretty great. Um, we used, I ended up using the white light um, a lot, uh, just for like when I was briefing my guys during like our mission briefs and stuff like that. Uh, when I just like need a highlight, little, uh, little like map, <laughs> uh, crude uh, map drawings on the ground for pre-mission planning. Uh, but this, the red light, obviously is definitely good for navigating, especially if you're trying to trying to stay uh, incognito. Like uh, we had some missions where. Um, you know, we had to locate a small man team, all we had was a radio, and our knowledge and layout of the land. And there's an enemy team trying to find us, so obviously we can't use white light to navigate, otherwise we'll be seen. So, something like this will definitely be handy, uh, obviously unless they're using some kind of like um, night vision or something, you might give yourself away. Uh, but it was definitely nice to have some of these lighting systems out there, and um, just having the nav light on my helmet, it's great because like I said, it doesn't take a lot of space, and it just fits really well within the profile of... Uh, the side of my Team Wendy helmet. So, overall, I really like it a lot. The specialized, um, uh, specialized tactical systems, or STS tactical, um, as, for short, I guess you could say. Uh, definitely a really cool lighting system. Make sure you guys check it out. A lot of different options, a lot of different uses out there. And you know, like I said, it's super small and super adaptable. So it's a little light that does a lot of different things. So make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I'm James C. Burns, I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.